flip, track the object. You can even come back to it. Let's do it again. Flip, track the object, come into it. Looks super sick. Kind of mix it up a little bit. All right guys, so today what I want to do is continue my basic trick tutorial series. And essentially for those who don't know, I did a video a while back uh, to talk about the roll, really a half roll. I'll put a link of that video in the description or up here um, somewhere in the video for anyone that's interested. But for today, I wanted to discuss how to do a half flip. And really, I'm going to talk about a few key pointers, things that I would do um, when I do my flip. And really, it's, a, uh, it's going to be a half flip. And why I want to do the half flip is because it's a little bit more dynamic. And uh, there's a few other tricks that you could do with a half flip, you know, in combination. I just think it looks pretty cool and all that. So I'm going to work on giving you a few of, t few of these tips as I fly. And... Yeah, hopefully it's a cool video. If you like this video, leave me a like and leave me a comment. Give me some ideas about some other videos to do and all that good stuff. So here we go. Okay, so what we're talking about. So that's a half flip. And why do I want to talk about a half flip rather than a full flip? Um, just it's just because it's a little bit more dynamic so here's a half flip um, again it just looks a little bit cooler so we'll work on the few tips and give you some things to consider as you fly so the first tip I would say is that practice your blip first work on your blips go to the object and then blip over it that's what I would do right and that kind of helps you understand how much blip you need to get over the object and just basically clear it because you don't want to blip like crazy and you know throw yourself over the object like this like that's not cool it doesn't look good um, and it's really just I don't know just doesn't look good so you want to control your blip and apply it um, as much as you need to get over the object so See, that's a clean one right there. So that's the first thing is work on your blip. The second thing I would say is once you kind of master the blip movement, just double check. All right. Once you master the blip movement, I would work on your timing. So here's here we go. So what I mean by timing is that after you blip it, try to gauge how much time you have to come back down. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll, it'll give you an understanding of how much time you have to flip over the object. That's basically what the goal is here. So give that a few times, you know, a few iterations, get used to it coming down the t from a timing aspect. All right, so let's practice the actual move at hand. So the most important thing you need to know is that you need to track the object when you flip. And what I mean by tracking the object. So here's, here's me tracking the object as I flip. That was a really good one. So I got the entire subject in frame um, as I was flipping. And why do you need to do that? Well, it just it's just personal preference, but it looks really good. Remember, you have to get the shot. And, you know, it's all good um, if you want to flip over it and just clear it and, you know, and not get the close shot. Not, it doesn't, I mean, it's all personal preference, but in my opinion, getting the shot is equally important as clearing clearing the object. So here we go. So let's get the shot. And we got the shot. We got the entire subject in frame. It could be a little bit better by, by making it a little closer, obviously. So we're gonna get and try to get a little bit more closer. Here we go. And that's pretty good too. So we did a few, few of the ones uh, that I would consider are pretty good shots. Now let's 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 see what a bad shot would be. A bad shot would be this. Watch. So, right, you're 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 too early. Like it's yeah, it's cool. You clear the object on a on a half flip, but you're too early. You didn't get the entire subject in frame. 
um, it doesn't look that good um, compared to tracking the object to the very minute that you just need to bail out, which is that. So that's kind of what I would work on is those three things, or three or four things, I forgot how many there are, but those couple things really is gonna improve your um, half flip. So flip, track the object, you can even come back to it, let's do it again. Flip, track the object, come into it. Looks super sick. And you can kind of mix it up a little bit. Alright, let's come back in. Battery's about to die. <laughs> Damn, that was close. But basically that's that's what a half flip is is you're taking your time tracking the object blip over the object give you enough headroom that you're clearing the object but not just like jumping over the object completely where where it just looks awkward and doesn't look that great so those are a few things i would consider um if you have any ideas suggestions for other videos leave them in the comments below and see you guys next one peace I've been caught up in this life, don't speak my mind enough I'm trying to keep pushing on me, pushing on me back.